Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you about how to update a table in an SQL server by using a OLE DB command transformation in SSIS package. So now I have a table like student detail table. So this is the data in the student details table. In this table, student name Achana and student branch IT is going to change as a um, as EIE. Now the, I'm going to update this particular row. So how I'm going to update this particular row by using OLE command, um, OLE DB command transformation in SSIS. For that I find my SSIS I have taken my new SSIS package and now I'm going to drag and drop this data flow task. Now double click over here. Now my source file will be a flat file source. So now I have an, on my desktop this update one is a my flat file that is student name and student branch. So for this student uh, Achan, student name Achana, I am going to change that into student branch as EIE. So this uh, this whatever the flat file source in this it's going to be updated. So now my source my source file is flat file source file i'm dragging and dropping this and now i'm going to make a new connection manager flat file connection manager so new browse and here update file i'm going to select this you can see the column student name and student branch so okay and retain null values if anything okay and then next is our our other transforms we have in common we have OLE db command so i'm dragging uh, this one and connecting this before that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the connector why because see OLE db command for here I have to make an OLDB connection manager here we have only a flat file connection manager but we want OLDB connection database connection manager so I'm going to create a new OLDB connection manager so already I have I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to create a new OLE but here the server name will be our my database where uh, my database server name is so i am copying those that server name and i am going to paste here mine it is an sql server authentication so i am going to give user id and password so next i am going to select the database student warehouse database so okay now my connection manager is ready now i am going to again only db command here here we can see now my connection manager so connection manager over next one is competent properties what i am going to give is sql command what statement we have to give update student details set set student branch equal to question mark where student name equal to question mark so this is what what, what uh, uh, we have to update the student details uh, uh, table with setting as student branch equal to question mark where student name equal to question mark so we have to pass these two values so Oh, I am going to mapping this one. So student name. So what is the student name where we are going to pass it as student name as second parameter actually. So first parameter parameter is student branch. Second one is student name. So here if you see this first parameter what I am going to pass student branch. So first parameter will be student branch. Second parameter will be student name. So like that only I have uh, marked this. First one is student branch. Second one is student name. See student branch. First one set with student name. So okay. Now if you run this, 
COLEDB command we have uh, we have one row has been passed if you come and see here already it is IT right so it's going to change as EIE see EIE so this student branch has been changed so this this is how I have updated a table in an SQL server by using OLEDB command transformation in SSIS package if you like my video please subscribe and share my video thank you thank you for listening